next cartridge I'm going to run for you is uh, one I just got recently called Video Artist. Since the system has uh, uh, 16 objects it can put on the screen but doesn't actually have a bitmap mode, I wondered how they would actually do a video art program. Well, here it is. Uh, I'll just put it on the number 5 just for making it really quick because that'll do a kaleidoscope type thing. And it's actually drawing and mirroring a single line in black and white. It has uh, two different speeds, which is just spaces between them or no spaces between the dots. And you notice it changes color every so often. The color changes are the different uh, objects that it's in. So there's basically four objects across the top and four objects down. So it's uh, four by four. Four by four grid of uh, objects that it's drawing in like a bitmap. And uh, if we go to uh, regular mode, because we can't do it in this mode, I think. Oh yeah, here we go. You can change the background color by pressing the F key. And after it cycles through the... Uh, uh, high intensity or pastel colors twice. It will go to the. Uh, there we go. So the primary colors. And cycle through those twice. Why it cycles through them twice, I don't know. It's just what it does. That's what it says in the manual. And back to the uh, pastels there more intense colors. It can also change, I uh, have to go to regular mode for this, Peter artist one, there we go, that's my uh, joystick moving there. Now, if I, whoops, I manage to stop my cursor, I can hit the H key to stop it if I have to, H, or halt. That stops everybody's cursor. You can have up to four controllers running at the same time. Halt would stop all of them. So now that I'm stuck there, I can change the color of the segment I'm in. Whoops, I've moved into a different segment. And I can exchange. There it is. Now you can see the segment. I can exchange the foreground and background color of the segment. And now you can see me changing the color of that segment, not just the dot change. Whoops, that's interesting. There we go. And if I hit the H key again, I can continue drawing. And if you draw back over yourself, it erases. And if you press a fire button, it switches to just move mode. So you can move to where you want and start drawing again. And so you, you can create your own image uh, this way, but you have to remember that uh, each hold, each segment, there's another segment, can only be one of two colors. And F will change background color. There's another key which will change the foreground color. What was that? Uh, C. There we go. Oops, I hit the F key. C, 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 C. And now it's made it totally invisible. So by being creative, you could actually get a fairly good picture out of it, but it's going to be a very low color picture, but you could probably get. Uh, most of the colors on the screen there in one, one go. And that is... Oh, right. Uh, I forgot about this. Um, there's also the uh, <coughs> video fountain, which is where they basically mostly scroll the stuff up the screen. Although, let me, let me show you something here. Well, those were a little better than last time. If I just do that without drawing anything... Halt. Halt. And 
clear. There we go. Now I'm going to do that uh, scrolly mode. And you'll see it's actually pulling bits out of memory and scrolling them around the screen too. No way of stopping that. <laughs> That's just the way it works. And that's, uh, that's basically it. That's the draw program.